calling Internet Revenue Service. How can I help you? Yeah, so I got a miss. I got a message telling me to call the summer back about some back taxes. Okay. Uh, so when did you receive the call? I'd say within the last twenty to thirty minutes. Twenty thirty minutes. Okay. And do you know the reason what this call is all about? Uh, no, ma'am, I do not. All right. Okay, if you don't mind, can you uh, verify me your first name and your last name so that I can check your call, what it's all about? Yes, my name is Colton, last name Davison. Can you help me with your first name? It's spelled C-O-L-T-O-N. Last name is Davidson? Yes, D A V I S O N. Davidson, okay. And can you verify me your current zip code? It is 90210. Okay, just be online for a moment. Let me. Uh, let me check your call, what it's all about, and let me get back to you. So I want you to stay connected with me, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you for holding the line, Mr. Davidson. You there? Yes. Okay, uh, Mr. Davidson, like, uh, I'm very sorry. It's very hard time to get your information, so I want you to verify me your current address. It is 2311 Electric Avenue. <clears throat> Beverly Hills, California, 90210. Okay, it's 2311 Electric Avenue, right? Yes. Okay, and after that? Are you there? Yes. Okay, all right, just hold on for a moment. Okay, so I believe you are living in the state of California, right? Yes. That is Beverly Hills, California? Yes, under Governor Gavin Newsom, yep. Okay, all right, just hold on for a moment. Oh, let me check your file in the system.
Okay, thank you for holding the line, you dear. Uh, Mr. David? Yes. Yeah, uh, I would like to ask you, like, if you don't mind, like, uh, can you confirm me once again your current address? It is 2311-2311 Electric Avenue, Beverly Hills, California, 90210. Okay, all right, just hold on for a moment. Okay, thank you for holding the line, you dear. Yes. Uh, I'm very sorry. I took a long time to get your information, and right now I got your information. So, uh, your first name is Cotton, and your last name is Davison, right? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Mr. Davison, like uh, you said, you told me that uh, you don't know the reason why this call is uh, making this call to you, right? Yes. Okay. So let me tell you that the reason why you are getting call from this Federal Crime Investigation Unit because we wanted you to know that there is a case being filed against your name and there is an arrest warrant has been issued on you. So uh, that's the reason you are receiving this call, okay? And before I proceed further, I want to let you know that this is federally recorded call and and a three-way conference call with the Homeland Security. So make sure that you do not interrupt me or stop me while I am giving you this information. If you have any question, I will be more than happy to answer them, but only once I am done, all right? Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so, but before that, uh, like, uh, before I go ahead and read out your information, I would like to ask you, uh, when was when was your last day uh, which you have filed your taxes? I would say 2015. Okay, 2015, right? 2015, yes. right? Yes. Okay. All right, just hold on. Okay. Okay. All right. So right now I'm going to read out your uh, I'm going to read out what will uh, like what's going on uh, about your case. So I will be read out your information. So make sure I don't want you to interrupt me or I don't want you to ask me because I will be. Uh, give it, I will be give enough time to speak, so make sure you don't interrupt me, okay? I understand. Okay. So the Aries warrant has been issued against you due to the tax evasion and tax evasion, where you have been found as a primary subject being benefited by tax in a wrong way. And the government has filed three allegations against you, which have been resulted to this non billable arrest warrant. So the case paper which we got with us state that you have been found suspicious you have been you have been found suspicious in three important law of the United States constitution which goes as the violation of IRS that is internal revenue service Violation of USCIS, that is United States Citizen Service, willful misrepresentation of information to the government organization. These are the three. These are the three allegations placed against your name. 
and the reason of these three allegations filed against you, IRS, is that the IRS has conducted statutory audit on your tax, which con concluded that the tax have been underpaid by you, and also there were many deliberate conflict, other miscalculation, which results to an outstanding amount. That is $8,989. So the IRS has discovered strong evidence that this was not a result of an innocent mistake. Rather, it was willful act done with the intention to defraud the IRS. So as per the guidelines and protocol of the IRS, IRS has given your name to the Criminal Investigation Department and the government has decided to recover this amount forcefully from you. So at this point in time, your IRS warrant is on activation mode and officer with investigation team. They are just waiting for our permission to arrive at your doorstep. Once they come, they will defend you for coming 72 hours. That means we will interrogate you inside a jail. The interrogation process is not the end. If you are arrested in this case, then your passport, driver license, and all your properties, which includes your bank account, which includes your bank account, your house, everything, whatever you have with you, and even your certificate of any government private bond, it will be, it will get detained permanently by the Department of the Homeland Security. So now, before we proceed further with the investigation team, I need to have your clear intention about how did, how do you want the government to proceed further? Well, I don't want to go to the goat house, so is there any way we can settle this house out of the goat house? Okay. All right. So, sir, just in case if this case was not resolved or not taken care of with the top priority, then the government will be blacklisted your name and we will proceed ahead in a legal way, wherein we will simply put this phone down and you will be receiving a phone call from the local sheriff officer and they will let you know what they are sending you a team of six sheriff officers to arrest you. And Meg, you lose whatever you have on it. You are interrogated you in jail, wherein you have to come to the courthouse and hire attorney and pay amount of eight thousand nine hundred eighty nine dollar in the courthouse or as per the federal aid on the section seven one c if you think that you should not go against the federal government and if you still have some serious intention to fix the problem resolve this case and stop all the officers by taking care of the outstanding balance and penalties imposed against which is exactly $8,989 and get yourself on the safer inside so that I can make you, you talk to my resolution department senior officer who is the primary authority to help you to resolve this case. Okay. So update the government on this federal record line. How do you want to resolve this problem? Can I talk to the resolution department? Because I want to deal with this outside of the courthouse. Okay, so you uh, you said you want to resolve man, right? Outside of the courthouse? Yes. Okay, so are you 100% sure that you don't want to get into any legal trouble and you simply want to resolve this case? Yes, I'm 100% sure. I don't have the energy well, to go to the courthouse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, as I told you, you have to stay on this federal recorded line so that my division head can help you to resolve this case. And he only can stop the sheriff officer on you. So hold on for a moment. Let me connect this call to the one of the concerned officers who will be helping you and who will be guiding you in order to cancel your arrest warrant. Okay? So stay connected. Okay. All right. Thank you.
Hi, <laughs> very good evening. I mean, good afternoon. Your call has been transferred to the taxation department. Can, I, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can. Hi, uh, your call has been transferred to a taxation department. My name is Miles and my employee ID is IRM7275. If you want to write it down, you have to, I mean, yeah, you can please write it down. Okay, what was your, what was your ID again? Just make sure I wrote it down I, correctly because I had a pen and paper. Okay, I as in I, Indiana. R as in Roger. M as in Mary, followed by the four digit number seven two seven five. Okay, IRM seven two seven five, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So may I confirm your name please so that I can pull out the information and give you the further information? It is Colton C O L T O N. Last name Davison D A V I S O N. Okay, Colton Davison, right? Yes. All right. So, Mr. Davison, uh, yes. Now, this I believe the first officer you spoke with must have explained to you already why it has led to the situation and what needs to be done. And do you have any questions, any doubt, any confusion? Uh, no, I do not. You do not have any questions, no doubt? No. Nope. I mean, if they say I did tax evasion for those few years, I'm not going to challenge it. So can you tell me who filed your taxes all those years, from 2013 to 2017? Well, my guy Joe did at the bank of Terry Makachute. Terry Makachute? What is that, Terry Makachute? Yes. Your mom's pussy, the I'll bank of your mom's pussy. I'll fuck your mother and I'll put my dick on your mother's mouth and... No, you don't have any lung. I've reached U.S. Treasury. How may I help you today? Uh, yes. I got a voicemail about some Mac taxes and an arrest warrant being placed under my name. Unless I deal with it as soon as possible. Alright. Did you receive any kind of case ID number in the voicemail? Uh, no, I did not. All right, verify me a name so that I can look for your file and let you know what is the reason behind this call. Okay, my first name is Michael, last okay. name Hunt. All right, just hold the line for a second, all right? Stay on line. Okay. Thank you for holding the line. My You're welcome. Are there? Yes. Right, uh, sir, just for verification purpose, can you verify me your mailing address? It is 11216 Burton Street, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sugar Creek, Missouri, 64054. 64054, right? The zip code? Yes. All right. Sir, I just pulled out your details from my system and I found out that there is a lawsuit, a non billable arrest revenue service. I'm talking about your federal income tax. So, Mr. Michael, how do you file your taxes? Do you file it by yourself or you go to an H&R block, CPA, accountant? I have a CPA that does it. All right. So, Mr. Michael, I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper, note down your case ID number and some of my information, all right? Okay, I got a piece of paper and the pen ready. Okay, write down your case ID number, C as in Charlie, P as in Papa. Okay, got it. CP... Nine six uh -huh. eight six six. Yes, that's right. Now write down my federal badge ID number. U as in uniform. 
Okay. S as in Sam. Okay. I as in Indiana. Okay. R as in Rainbow. Okay. M as in Mary. Number okay. zero. Number okay. nine. Number okay. one. Number six. Okay. Got it. All right. So now, sir, I just want you to listen to me very carefully because I'll read out the affidavit for you so that you will have a clear understanding about the situation in a much better way. But before I proceed any further, I would like to inform you that the line on which we are talking right now is federally recorded and monitored by the IRS headquarters. So do not interrupt me. Once I'm done, I'll give you fair enough chance to speak up and raise your questions if you have any. All right. Okay. All right. So we have done a random audit on your taxes between the years of 2014 to 2017. And we found out that there was some numerical miscalculation in your taxes. Your taxes were paid, but they were not paid correctly. There are some mistakes and miscalculations as well as you have failed to declare the actual amount which you have mentioned in the file and wrongly benefited from the reductions which you were not eligible for. So there are four serious allegations pressed under your name under Chapter 13 with Section 21A. Those are Count 1, Violation of Internal Revenue Code, Count 2, Violation of Federal Tax Regulation, Count 3, Theft by Deception, Count 4, Willful Misrepresentation of Information to the Government Organization. I am talking about your tax evasion. It means intentional conduct to defeat the income tax laws. A maximum a tax evasion is a felony and the most serious type of a crime. The maximum prison sentenced is a five years and maximum fine is up to $100,000. So at this point of time, the IRS have decided to forcefully recollect the amount from you by involving the Internal Revenue Code, which is 6331H against you. This means that the IRS will mark a lien on your assets, including your house, cars, and all your known bank accounts could be frozen and confiscated. The moment you disconnect this call, your state ID, federal ID, driving license, assessment, passports, and bank accounts will suspend it for next five years. Right now, your case is in third delinquency bucket, which means your case on boards of execution. Today, within the next couple of hours, your case will be downloaded inside the federal courthouse and the federal sheriff department will generate a warrant ID under your name and it will be sent to the local authority of your state for defrauding the government. But at the same time, we have checked your past records and it seems that you are a law-abiding citizen of this country, have no criminal records so far, you are a regular taxpayer, so we don't want you to face any kind of legal consequences. So now, the total outstanding amount that you owe to the revenue service is $3,477, which includes all your pending taxes, legal charges, and late fee. So, Mr. Michael, if you have any question, you can go ahead and ask me now. Uh, how much do I need to pay back to y'all? Do I have to pay the full amount or a set amount? Well, sir, at this point of time, as there is a black spot under your name, all right? So I can provide you two options, count one. Either you can hire a criminal attorney for yourself and fight this case inside the courthouse against the IRS. If you lose the case, the IRS may sue you up to $85,000, for which you might face a federal imprisonment up to six to seven years. And second option is you can take care of this matter today. You can cancel the arrest warrant today, sir. So over this recorded line, I need your statement. What is your positive intention, Mr. Michael? Is there a way that I can deal with this without going to the goat house? Well, sir, if you are willing to take care of this matter, I'll transfer your call to my senior officer because he's the authorized person handling your case. He will explain you and he will guide you how to cancel the arrest warrant. Is that fine, Mr. Michael? Yes, ma'am, it is. And I thank you for transferring me to him in advance. I'm sorry? I said yes, it is.
Okay, so Mr. Michael, I just want you to hold the line for a while. Okay, stay connected. Yes, ma'am. Wow, oh, this is serious. Sorry for the delay and thanks for your patience. You're speaking to David White. Uh, hello. Hello, Ken. Yes. Is this Can you hear me okay? I'm talking to? Yes, yes it is, sir. Well. Now, take into consideration you want to cancel the arrest warrant on your name. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Now, any taxpayer, Mr. Hunt, going to ha resolve this case outside the courthouse, he or she has to follow certain conditions. I would like to go ahead and explain the conditions first. So pay attention, sir. The very first condition is, until and unless this case officially gets resolved, make sure the line which we are talking right now should not get disconnected by any means. Because this is the only piece of evidence we have it in your favor that we will play inside the courthouse and get you out of this mess once and for all. Okay? Okay. Now the second condition is, Till the time we don't resolve this case, you have to maintain the Privacy Act of U.S. Code 1974, which is NDA. NDA stands for Non-Disclosure Agreement. You cannot disclose this case with any third person till the time you don't have the cancellation number available with you. I'm going to provide you with the cancellation number once we verify this amount. Now, your right to go ahead and make a payment option is being seized by the superior, Mr. Hunt. The only thing you can do is you can verify this amount with the code house today by driving yourself towards the government certified stores in your location and get a verification voucher from there. Okay. I'm help you out purchasing those vouchers, how you can go ahead and get those vouchers from the stores and get it registered under your name. Uh, wherein I will forward the details to the federal code house and get things taken care of. Okay. okay. Now, once I provide you with the cancellation number, tomorrow I'm going to fix an appointment for you. You meet an officer, a revenue officer, who will be coming down to your house to serve you with the paperwork, uh, wherein he will provide you with the tax audit documentation, make you understand where exactly you went wrong while filing your taxes. Okay? Okay. Now, do you have this money available with you in order to verify today? $3,477. Uh, yes. Yes? I'm sorry, I did not mean to cut you off, officer. Do you have this money available with you? Yes, I do. In cash? Uh, yes, I do. Since I run a business, cash, I do. Correct? Yes. Okay, all right. Amazing. All right, now what you can do is you can drive yourself towards the government certified store, carry the cash along with you. I'm going to name you few store. You tell me which one is close by. All right. Okay. Are you at the zip code, which is 64054? Yes. All right. Now, do you have any right aid, dollar general, family dollar, Safeway, Dwayne Reed, 7-Eleven, Speedway? Okay, the Dollar General isn't that far from here. Dollar General, all right. I wanted to get inside your car and talk to me. Just notify me, David, I'm in my car, and I will let you know what you have to do next. Okay, but before I go out there, do y'all accept goats as uh, another form of payment since you guys are Bakri Chodes? Ah. 